Hey guys, it's Fate, a gun guys, another gameplay here on the map Sovereign using the AK-12 Assault Rifle and it's actually my first ever chem strike I ever got on Call of Duty Ghost. I don't even know why I've never actually uploaded this gameplay but anyway, the winner of the giveaway I did um, a few days ago, the Astro Mixamp A40 headset is Freestyle Esports so congratulations and I do hope you actually make good use of the headset. So anyway. Um, I'm going to be talking about the uh, confirmed list in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and in my opinion I'm going to actually give it a chance because when we first saw Black Ops 2 coming out we thought oh yeah it's going to be another Halo kind of game which was in my opinion it was probably the best Call of Duty very good for esports and as well for pubs it was actually really good because I had great kill streaks and stuff like that so anyway it's going to be set in the year 2054, so we know it's going to be futuristic by the trailer anyway. So it's going to be set in that year. Features exoskeleton suits designed for soldiers. So what an exoskeleton suit is, it's basically something, it's probably the size of a juggernaut suit. And um, has like special features, like for instance, it's got like sticky hands feature. This means you can climb up walls. But in this is in campaign, it's all confirmed that it will be in multiplayer. But if it is in multiplayer, I think it should be able to only climb up certain sections of walls. Because it actually would be really OP if like you're up in a building and someone comes up a window and just kills you from there. Okay, so then team that will be in multiplayer and it would be PMC, this is a private military cooperation. Um so it's gonna be like a uh, army that's gonna be in the campaign so it will be a team in multiplayer so Kevin Spacey stars as Jonathan Irons the most powerful man in the world within the game so then we got Irons runs the Atlas corporations the main company and villain in the game so that's gonna be the villain in the game and campaign a PMC has emerged with the powerful rescue humanity from the devastated world struggling to rebuild after a global attack on its military and infrastructure so it's going to be kind of a ghost kind of campaign and ghost because the world was kind of fucked in a way it was kind of blown to bits and stuff for that and you're kind of fighting the federation so then you are an advanced soldier through boost jumps and grappling cover cloaking uh, abilities and bio chanics i think that's what it is that provides unparalleled strength, awareness, endurance and speed. So this is what the exoskeleton suit basically is. Uh, game features technological advancements and high tech gear. So that's exoskeleton as well. And then the multiplayer. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare DLC comes to Xbox One and 360 first. So it's kind of a downside to PlayStation users. I'm a PlayStation user and Xbox. Um, users, so it's already a downside for me, but I actually do feel sorry for PlayStation users. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys, and please uh, um, give me a like, comment, and please do subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you guys really great news for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.